Now based on the concept uh, recently we learned slope intercept form of the equation of line. Let's try to solve this question. This will help us to understand the problems. Now, write the equation of the lines for which the tan theta is half uh, 1 by 2 where theta is the inclination of the line and uh, first question is y intercept is minus 3 by 2 and x intercept is 4. So uh, recently we learned uh, when we have y intercept and when we have x intercept. Uh, let me show you here. When we have y intercept you know uh, when we have y-intercept like this, when we have y-intercept, the equation of the line we learned that it is y equals to mx plus c, where y and x is the general uh, general point and m is the slope of the line and c is the intercept of the uh, intercept of the form. All right, so let's first do this one. Uh, <clears throat> the first problem let's try to do. Uh, the, let me try to uh, draw the figure of this. For the rough figure I'm trying to do. All right, this is for the first one. Uh, y intercept minus 3 by 2 means it is uh, ca uh, cutting uh, the y axis in negative uh, negative direction okay so uh, let's say like this this is our line is something like this okay so now uh, if you see here uh, this y intercept here c is actually minus 3 by 2 and uh, the theta we don't know the value of theta but we know tan theta all right we know tan theta which is our slope is equal with here 1 by 2 all right it's equals to 1 by 2 so what is the equation of the line and we have already run the equation of the line uh, we can solve this by this derivation method also by by this long method by writing in this way also and without writing that directly you can uh, use the formula also uh, the equation of the slope is uh, you can directly write equation <coughs> of of a slope intercept form of slope intercept uh, intercept form uh, is y equals to mx plus c all right then uh, y equals to what's our slope m is actually 1 by 2 and x and what's our slope slope is our minus 3 by 2 so if we write properly it will be uh, y equals to x minus 3 2 here also 2 so it will be uh, 2y equals to x minus 3 so let's write it properly so x minus 2y uh, x minus 2y minus 3 equals to 0 so this is our required equation of the first uh, equation uh, having y intercept minus 3 by 2 and the slope 1 by 2 this is the equation of the line all right this is for if we have y intercept now uh, if we have x intercept minus 4 uh, x intercept 4 then what will be the equation of the line uh, let's say this is our y intercept uh, sorry x intercept x intercept x intercept uh, let's say uh, d is equals to now 4 okay so that time our equation is equation of the line we have recently learned here when we have uh, x intercept then our equation of the line is y equals to x minus d times m all right so equation of the line equation of slope intercept slope intercept slope intercept form for x intercept for x intercept is y equals to m uh, sorry uh, m times or simply you can say x minus d times m all right so what's our uh, uh, what's our i uh, sorry so what's our y y is so now y equals to x minus d so d is your x intercept x intercept is given to be 4 so 4 times now uh, slope slope is our 1 by 2 according to the equation all right so now uh, let's further do so it's going to be now 2 will multiply this so it will be 2y equals to x minus 4 let's rearrange it properly so we'll get uh, <coughs> x minus 2y minus 4 equals to 0 this is the another required uh, equation for x intercept 4 and uh, and the uh, and the slope of the line if it is 